Hello and welcome to my first match of Dominion League Season 33. Um, I've been placed in B1 division, so this B tier that I've been in for a little while. Um, and I'm playing against Amafet 11. Amafet and I have uh, <laughs> have played before. We used to be, uh, we were in the very first uh, B division I was ever in. Um, and he beat me up there. It was five to one. He won, I think, the first five games. Um, despite that, uh, I managed to do well enough in the rest of the season, and he managed to do slightly poorly in the rest of the season, and he ended up demoting down to C, um, and eventually down to D, and now he's back all the way up to B for the first time since then. So, uh, time to show him I've learned something since then. Um, okay, enough chatter. Um... So this board has no draw, unless you count like native village stuff. Um, it's got some good trashing with the priest and quasi trashing with ambassador. Um, ambassador being quite good with native village because we do. I think think we do want to get native villages. Sea hag, I think, being not quite what we want to go for. Um, innovation becomes interesting with priest or artificer or something. I don't know. Um, the question is, what are we getting on four? We could also consider Doctor Trashing. I don't. Really, I really don't like Doctor Trashing though. Um, okay. Yeah, this is this is tricky. I don't want to mess this up. Um, probably Poacher Ambassador. Poacher seems like it'll be quite uh, reasonable for quite a while. Um, I don't think I want to open with the double terminal priest. So let's uh let's go there. He's got the five two with the doctor. And he trashes two estates. Well that's nice. <laughs> um uh yeah, here's hoping we do something that good. <laughs> that is ridiculously good. <laughs> oh and okay, he doesn't have four. He doesn't have five. Wow. Um this is just going to be another poacher, I think. I'm quite happy with that. Um, he's got these two terminals now. Hopefully they glide. Well, I get uh, literally the golden sombrero to go with um, to go with his five two. So this is uh, not looking amazing, and I think I want a silver. Okay, we'll get to ambassador to estates, but man. <laughs> Okay, he still hasn't played his doctor, which is a little odd. Um, maybe he's hoping to get Artificer first. Um, okay, this is now finally a good turn. We'll return those, and we'll pick up Artificer. And here we'll pick up another Poacher, I think. Okay, he only throws a meager copper into my deck. I'm feeling okay about all this. Um... It would be nice to get to innovation. Um, just innovate like another ambassador or something. I don't know. Um, we'll start with poachers. Artificer. Um, but is it nice enough? No, I don't think it is. Um, we're, we're just going to get an artificer here. So basically, I think I'm I'm avoiding. Okay, one estate. Yeah, he did trash quite a bit there. I'm avoiding. Uh, yeah, terminals or stop cards in general. As long as I can. I'm trying to hope that one ambassador be enough, but my deck is just so much bigger than his, given his trashing ability. Gold, so he's not going to go for the innovation. Interesting. Okay, well, I will return these, and I think I will not pick up a silver. Yeah. 
Yeah, so what could innovation do for us? That's amazing. Um, I mean, we could do a native village set aside right away. Um, he's getting some good trashing, more Tipser. Um, yeah, no. Hmm. To pick up an ambassador, I have to discard three. I draw one more. Dealy. Um, what is my last card? I think it's a copper. <clears throat> Let me just double check. I mean, okay, I have three estates. Here's two of them. Did I see one last turn? I did not see one last turn. Oh, he just gave me one, though. So it's got to be a copper, right? I only have one silver. Unless it's the third poacher, but I think he is a poacher. Um, no, I have all the poachers. But did I play one last turn? I played one last turn. Okay. Oh, but I've hit disc. Yeah, no, that's not worth it. Okay. Never mind. Okay, we'll just draw and we'll get innovation. I mean, we can get platinum. I guess platinum is good enough. But yeah, if he is smart at all, he'll see that I'm basically getting one card trashed every other turn. And he will junk me a ton. Especially with buying a stop card there. Um, well, I don't have my native village this hand. But I can get <laughs> um, second platinum, I think, still. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not really liking the way this is going. Um, I could also do a huge Dr. Trash at some point. That might be the way to go. Um, hopefully Clyde Platinum or something. Got a lot of my artif artificers played. Okay, yeah, let's just ambassador these estates and pick up another artificer. If I draw my second platinum, I think I will do the... Okay, he's still sending me copper. It's his second platinum, I think. Okay, um, yeah, so if I discard, how many cards can I see? There's 10 in there and all. Um, oh, but if I discard anything out of that stuff, then, yeah, well, let's just look at this again. Trash it, discard it, or put it back, put it back which means if I discard anything, it's I'm not going to see it. I'm not going to see this stuff. So, um, I mean, it'll get shuffled in to all the other stuff. Okay, but how much of that doctor will that doctor be worth? Huh. It could be 13, or it could be up to 15, so 12 cards. Uh,. Yeah, I'm going to do this. It's my chance to get clean. Um, 
trash the copper. Discard ambassador, trash. Discard, discard, discard. Trash, trash, trash. Discard, discard. Okay. So I still have these two coppers, but I feel pretty good. Okay, poacher, artificer, 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 poacher, ambassador of the coppers, and I mean, I don't know what we're building to for, there's no plus buy, so I think at this point I am calling it. Of course, I have my one, one copper left, and now I have the colony and the doctor. I think I'll send him the doctor over the colony. Well, I'll send him the estate first, but we'll see. Okay, he buys the colony. Poacher, poacher, artificer, artificer. Okay, so... Fifty coppers in the pile. How many in the trash? Eight. There's sixty and also there's two coppers out there. But I think the doctor is less valuable than the copper to me. Um I can also ritual ritual the colony, say. So that turns it from 10 points to uh, 11 points in the curse. No thanks, okay. Although have, getting two ambassador of the curse would be nice. Um, third platinum, just to space them out. Okay, sure. Oh, he stops and tries to trash his doctor. Oh, but he's got a colony anyway, okay. Artificer, 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 artificer. Let's draw. Um, well, let's just stay up, I guess. <laughs> So, like, being able to innovate island would be nice. Okay, he gets rid of his ambassador, so no more junking from him. That's good to know. Okay. Um, well, again, I don't want to play this, but I'm going to take colony, so I have a point lead. Innovation on island would be real nice. That's the one, one thing I do kind of wish I had. Unfortunately, I drew all my Platina last turn, so I, don't, I think I'm probably not going to. Be able to draw Platinum. <coughs> he has those two Doctors and he's trying to trash both each of them, so... I don't know. I think I have at least three artificers, maybe four. So I will draw around to see some other card. Um, he's taking native village, getting province, that's reasonable. Um, poacher, artificer, artificer, artificer. I see two cards. Artificer. Nice, I get to colony. Um, how much did he have there? He didn't see his platina. Um, 
Hmm. So I think I use it and I get an island. And a province. And now I can just island the colony and get whatever I need to. Oh, maybe he has some stuff on his native village map. Three cards, actually. Well, he did finally trash that doctor with the other doctor. Picking up province. Um, okay. What is that last card? I drew one platinum. I think it's my ambassador, so let's get him out of the way. We're gonna island, island the colony and pick up the province. So I've been able to colony all of these times. I don't know. Innovation would be interesting if you could just throw a Sea Hagar monument or something in there. Um, I guess the lack of plus buy means the monument money would be worthwhile. Yeah, it's very possible one of those artificers that we bought should have been an innovation. But I'm fairly happy with how this is sh shaken out. He gets two islands, so he's up one point. Um, I draw... Yeah, we'll always be able to ritual the platinum. Oh, or we could uh, possibly... Um, ambassador province by province. We'll see. We'll see what we draw. But yeah, the ambassador uh, makes this possibly able to pile. But only if I'm up, which means, which is kind of the same situation where I've been wanting to double colony. Okay, so he gets to a big hand size, and now he's going to try to artificer for an island and then buy. Pot province, I, I expect. This is what I imagine he's been building towards a little bit. We'll see what he's managed to draw. I expect it's quite good. Um, at least he has a lot of cards in hand. The fact that he picked them up means he's not been able to easily set aside with his green like I'd imagine he wanted to. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Oh, he doesn't even... Artificer. Buys the province. Okay. So, well, let's see what we draw. Um, we're not going to use Artificer on that. We're not using Artificer. Three. Okay, so I've gotten to province. Um, that's a loss if I take the estate. Um... Um, hmm. Let me think carefully. Yeah, if I ambassador him either of these green cards and buy the last one, 
That's losing unless I can gain a forecast. And I'm not going to be able to gain that forecast. Now let me think about what that last card is, because it's possible I should... Uh, Ah, uh, what could that last card be? Um, this shuffle... Obviously I'm thinking, but let me just be nice. Okay, so this shuffle, I shuffled my deck, I drew a state, poacher, colony, two platinum. So that was one of my colonies. And in that process I also drew a province. So colony, province, estate. Colony, province, estate. Here I have colony, province. So that's uh, 16, 16... One, uh, 33 points, and I have 12 points over there, so 45 points, which suggests that's a province on top. So I should uh, maybe take the native village and set it aside. Um... I'm going to be ritualing the platinum, I think. I could just take an island. Um, but then I wouldn't be able to draw it. Um, hmm. Is the native village actually an improvement? I don't think it is. Um, so what if I just discard and take... Um, take Island and Ritual the Platinum. All right. Oh, so he wouldn't have been able to take uh, province, it seems. Or maybe he's considering ritualing a platinum in response. Fresh shuffle for me, so I, really anything can happen in these next two cards. Um, I could draw two green, in which case, so what? I only have two platinum left, so it's actually kind of hard for me to hit colony. Um, oh, he does have a lot of money. He's going to buy the colony. Okay. Um, well, that's probably not going to get me there. That is also not going to get me there. Um, question is whether I should gain an estate on top of my deck. So he thinks he could get, he could get a colony before me. Should I gain a silver? I don't know that a silver would do me much good. Um, should I just gain an island, and then island the island? Hmm. I think no. I think I'm just going to set aside by the estate and hope I can hit. And hope he can't hit 11. Well, okay, does he? He does not have two platinum. By against the estate. Okay, so I just need to hit colony or send him a colony, and no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> um, poacher, poacher, artificer, artificer, and we found it. Okay, colony. All right, I uh, salvaged that one despite his excellent start. Um, so that gives me the one zero lead. Um, of course, that was my start, so that does give me a bit of an advantage, but I did think his 5-2 uh, trashing two estates was much better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I also had the sombrero. I forgot about that now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I salvaged that one. So, um, we'll continue. And I need to edit this table. And he gets to go first for the second one. And we're ready to go. All right, let's see. Okay, so um, there's good draw in the lab. Um, Puka does not really inspire me. Um, Forager can get up to six. That could be really powerful. Um, you can also get some Conspirators played. Um, Forager is plus buy, but it does trash, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, account is an interesting open. But I think not one I want. I think I want to just go double forager. Maybe a forager silver. Um, I think double forager is quite reasonable. I don't think we need to do the count trash. Um, in fact, I don't think I want even a terminal here. Um, count forager odd. Yeah, the count does not really inspire me, but I think it's either double forger or forger silver. I think I think I'm gonna prioritize the trashing. And I'll get a silver here. And then I'll get a conspirator if I hit four. Well hmm. Do I want to play the curse gold? Not especially. I might just trash an estate and then... Oh, his Forger collided with his count, so like, what is he even doing? He's doing count for Mandarin. Eh, don't like that. Talisman. So what is he going to get? A bunch of passages? Um... So I do have the two thingies. Forgers. So trashing the Cursed Gold could be good for that effect. Um, I could also play it. But yeah, if I trash the Cursed Gold, I'm just buying... I don't even need a moat, so... Not buying anything. It's either Trash Estate, don't buy anything. I think it's Trash Estate, don't buy anything. I don't think I want a Curse for Inspirator. Alright, well, so that's, uh, that's a little sad. But at least we don't have a ton of junk. Curse for the lab. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, second silver is fine. And then yeah, this will be this will be lab. Okay, so he gets the the three card trash. And the passages. Um, okay, we'll see what we get here. I think it's lab. Um, yeah. So we'll for sure draw. Oh, we could draw a copper. Yeah, that'd be sad. Yeah, so he's able to get the conspirators, but I'm not, I'm not convinced that's going to be strong enough. If I trash that silver, hmm, I still hit eight. And I think that'll be a talisman and conspirator. Yeah, I like how trashed I am. Um, the talisman is how we get extra gains for the forager. Uh, he does collide like everything, which is one thing that Secret Passage is good at doing. But I, I do have the lab advantage. And does he find his talisman? If he can get both conspirator and I oh, found a count, okay. Count can also gain a copper for forager trashing. If you want. 
a plus three, and does he have talisman? Ah, uh, no, curse cold. Okay, so he gets the labs. Yeah, so lab. Um, the the foraging thing helps both of us. So I'm gonna trash the copper, and spiriter. Um, yeah, so. Obviously, I'm running short on gains, but that's okay. Um, my deck is lab, silver. I just have the one conspirator, so uh, I've trashed eight cards, so it must be a copper. So lab, silver, copper. Um, so yeah, I'm going to trash... Um, yeah, so I have the two labs. This is either lab, conspirator, copper, or or Secret Passage Conspirator Copper, I think. Hmm. I have I can trash a silver and a copper next. Actually, let's not buy the copper this time. So it's gonna be conspirator for sure. And third lab or I could just go really heavy conspirator. That sounds like asking for a dead. Um See the secret passage or lab. I'm gonna take secret passage. Card on, cards on the bottom. Yep, so he's able to draw almost all deck. Um We'll see how many conspirators he takes here. He does have that count that I don't have. I'm kind of okay with it. He also has, still has the cursed gold, if that's useful. Um, but he could go finish off the conspirators here, and that would be maybe pretty strong. He can also take four of them, get the sixth floor split. Yeah, I thought about taking four conspirators last time, but I didn't really want it. Probably four of them is totally reasonable. And then maybe another pair of passages. So given that I have these two labs in hand, I would prefer to play a passage and bottom deck a passage. I'm guessing he'll just go four conspirators and lab. It would be right quite reasonable at this point. Yeah, the count has, has been fine. It got one decent trash in, and actually now at this point the gaining copper is keeps you at, a, at the right rate. If I were him, I would take, yeah, I would take another. Yeah, that's that sounds about right for him. So we'll start with a lab, and then we'll forge a silver, then we'll conspirator. Conspirator. I'll play the lab. Secret passage top deck. I 
Maybe I should have uh, trashed the talisman. Or maybe not. Um, that would give me 16. Which could be... Hmm. Double province copper. But no, I'm not doing double province copper. Uh... It could be province talisman. Okay, I want conspirator. Um, <clears throat> so he has six conspirators. Um, he could. That means he can vary. What what is his economy at this point? The real question. Yeah, the question is: Do I need to get uh, additional? Um, I'm going to take the last conspirator. Hmm. Do I do like province, a state? Well, town talisman doesn't work on a state. So province... Uh, how do I how do I position this appropriately? So I was at fifteen, right? And I could actually go up two more if I trash the talisman. I think province silver. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna say is best. Now say he has another. I I have enough conspirators to play, play it all. Yeah, the nice thing about his deck is he can. He can afford to keep that cursed gold even. His extra gain. Does he even have a fourth lab? Count can also gain duchy if he needs to. There's a lot of things he has in, in advantageous over me. That are advantageous over me. Triple province here. Um, I don't know why he plays the copper, but yeah. So, yeah, if he can triple province, then I think I have to play for the dud. Well, let's see how this goes. Um, silver is what we're trashing, so we'll do that. That's all my conspirators. That's the uh, talisman. So, forager is worth three. Fourteen plus whatever I get here. What is the what is the dud here? Um, the dud is... I think the dud is he just doesn't have he like has all conspirators in this hand after a single lab play. So we'll we'll take our chances. Or a, a single secret passage play. And that doesn't look like a dud. So if he finds his forgers. Yeah, this is over. <clears throat> 
I think this is mostly a first player advantage. It, it's possible that count could have been worthwhile, the, the, the thing to go for. And I uh, shouldn't have skipped it. But let's add that win for him. And yeah, sure, 24. <laughs> Nothing I could have done anyway. If he triple provinces twice in a row, then whatever, there's no chance. So yeah, um, I, and maybe I really should have gone for the full conspirator, the four. Then we split him 5-5, five, five and I have a better chance of dudding. Yeah, I don't know about that. Let's see. Pretty good, pretty good crowd. Um, not a lot of people in Discord, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, I get to go first for game three. So we're one to one. And I'll just post that here for anyone wondering. All right, let's take a look. So, um, there's Mandarin with no tricky things with Mandarin. There's Lurker. Um, okay, so the trashing here is Rat Catcher or Bishop. Um, uh, I mean, you can get a bit of play with Lackey's uh, Academy and. Um, oh, there's also trashing with mint, I should say. So there's anyway, there's a bit of play with Lackey's Academy and um, yeah, a little bit of draw there. It is it is temporary draw. Um, Ratcatcher and Bishop both trash from your hand, either your bishop or their bishop. Um, you can duplicate provinces once you get there if you want to use that as your terminal, terminal-ish thing. I, I really can't see the lurker thing happening. There's too much. Um, yeah, so we are going to want to trash. So I think this is going to be a lurker and then like a scouting party lackeys or scouting party rat catcher. Or, sorry, rat catcher. Oh, you can do scouting party tunnel. That's a fun thing to do. Print golds. But with the highway engine, I'm I'm not sure about that. Um how how good is the is the tunnel thing? Probably not very good. I mean you can like guarantee yourself a gold like turn two with it. Um uh, yeah, the question is how fast, like, all that highway stuff is going to be. And what is the real gain if you get a bunch of highways duplicate province? Mm. I think I'm feeling frisky. I'm going to open tunnel. If I get the tunnel discarded on the first scouting party, I think I'll pick up the rat catcher. Um... But if I don't, then I will go for it again. It's like a 5-6 chance I do, right? Actually, I could get it twice, right? So... Um, oh, well, now it's less likely. Um... So, hey, let's... uh. He's taking the duplicate open. Duplicate open? Really interesting. Um, yeah, that's fine. And since I found them, um, another rat catcher? Sure. More duplicate. What is he thinking with the duplicates? Anyway, we have a we have a lot. So I'm gonna do a scouting party. Well, I would like to trash an estate, but there's still an estate in there. Uh, 
Um, Okay, there's the estate I want to trash. Do I leave it on top? Or do I just discard it with three cards? Let's leave it on top. Um, it duplicates when you gain, right? So. I'll just get the second tunnel. Ah, alas. Tunnel in hand. He's going heavy trashing, okay. So, yeah, we're going to trash this estate. We found our other tunnel. Let's now get fourth another tunnel. He's gonna take lackeys down for draw. Okay, I'm gonna trash this estate. And uh, there's not necessarily a tunnel in there, so let's just province. I, did I get a third tunnel? I did, didn't I? So I'm just going to scouting party twice here. He's going to go heavy duplicates. Um. Hmm, how much do I care about the rat catcher? <coughs> so I have five golds in my deck so far. Using up villagers. Seems like he's going to go for a highway thing. Um, but he doesn't have Academy yet. I've trashed... We've each trashed two estates. Yeah, we've each trashed two estates. Okay, let me get a couple more catchers down. And I hit Province. But is there a tunnel in there? I, I found one tunnel last turn. Let's just get Province. Okay, I'm going to trash two coppers, I think. And then just scouting pretty twice. Um, yeah, sure. <clears throat> I mean, I could also lackeys. But let's hope to hit. Hey, we had another one. We probably have problems here. Yes, we do. Good. And do I have a rat catcher on the map? No, I don't, but that's okay. He's really going heavy, heavy with the duplicates. I, I'm not seeing where he's going to score. So he's going to pick up a bunch of highways. Six highways. I'm up to 33 points. He also has to be able to afford province. Uh, 
Um, I can even do a scouting party before. Um, random card probably better than copper. Mm, maybe it wouldn't have been. <coughs> Question is how many Yeah, so he's gonna get two more duplicates on that. How many duplicates does he have? If he has four gains. I hope I can hit I do. Um I mean this isn't that good to okay. Interesting. Uh non mirror. I'll say that to him. Yeah, uh, scouting party tunnel. It's it's good. Um, maybe there's a better thing to do, better than either of us doing there. I don't know, but I win that one on my start, and um, he gets to go. Um, he gets to go first. So let's let's play this next one. Nice crowd. Um so far. Okay, so let's take a look at this board. So it's an urchin board. Um, there's also Marauder if we want to go with a different kind of attack, and there's also Vampire. Um, it's a hunting party board too, so maybe we uh, keep it simple. Um, tomb says trash a lot. That's what we're going to be doing anyway. Palace says get like some of those different things. He goes for Spice Merchant. I'm not... I, I don't really like the spice merchant here because we've got urchin. Oh, we got marauder to trash. We've got marauder. We've got um. So like vampire will gain us hunting parties. That's for sure. Um. Well, okay. I'm definitely opening urchin. The question is, what am I opening with the urchin? It's either the marauder or the urchin. I do kind of like the marauder. Um, silver spice merchant. Does he does he not want to? I mean, Mara urchin marauder is slightly less likely to collide, especially than later once you add. But let's do it. Okay. Decent chance of collision. Depends on what's on bottom. Um, but I'm gonna get a second urchin. I do collide. That's nice. He gets the marauder. Um, I'll get silver. And I, I guess this could be Spice Merchant. No, or it might be Quarry. Hmm. Okay, he undid. Doesn't want to use the coffers. Yep, yep. Now he goes for Urchin. Now he goes for Urchin. Really? Okay. Um... I mean, yeah, the village is nice. I guess that's the that's the thing here. Vampire or first hunting party. Um, I will take a second. Yes. Um. First hunting party. Well, okay, vampire. The fact that vampire can be drawn dead by my pair of mercenaries was what I'm going for here. And this will be Honey Party. Um, a chance that next card is my. Mine. 
I mean, I'm probably not getting much this turn if it isn't. Okay, so he gets his mercenary before the shuffle. Picks up a third plaza. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to discard. Um, is another urchin worth it? My vampire misses, unfortunately. I think I'm going to say another urchin isn't worth it. Is another silver worth it? Um. Oh, there's a ruined market. I can also take that. No, I already gained a ruined market. I'm good. Okay. So let's say another silver's worth of them. Okay, so his pluses are not really coming through. Uh, um, I'll discard the spoils. That way I'm more likely to find something good here with the hunting party. Oh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to get that hunting party. Get the hunting parties as many as I can. Poverty, nice. On a turn I didn't attack him with mercenary. That's perfect. I'm liking my, my shuffles this, this game. Um... Yeah, I'm discarding Silver Marauder. Eh, I'll show the Silver. Trash is a spoils. Ouch. It's also given me the Ruined Markets. I'm likely not going to be able to buy anything this turn. Yeah, I draw the Plaza Dead. Oh well. Ooh, okay. Um... Well, I don't want two ruined markets, and I do want to attack. Okay, in all luck, oh, I'm going to draw my two hunting parties. Okay, Marauder Estate, that's totally okay. My three hunting parties. I have three hunting parties. Okay, he plays Hunting Party. Plays a lot of plazas. He doesn't have Mercenary this turn. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Trash the Spice Merchant. Okay, so we both trash 10. Um, yeah, I'm going to just play this. Uh, yeah, I might as well discard, right? Battle still finds something. Yeah, bat finds abandoned mine. I'm gonna keep my abandoned uh, market and. Get fourth hunting party. Okay, cool. He's done. He gets the hunting party. Um, do I want to discard the spoils for coffers? Now nah, we'll, we'll we'll play it safe. I do get a nice mercenary trash beginning of turn. Okay, discards the spoils. Hmm, maybe I should have discarded that spoil. Ah, uh, discards the spoils. Okay, so I'm at the point where. 
Um, yeah, I, I could Marauder him one more time. <coughs> and we're going to... Okay, so basically I need to get a plaza because that's how the hunting party can draw. Um, probably a plaza. I'll get one more mercenary trash in. Haunting doesn't hurt. Um, start going for groundskeepers soon. I think I have enough hunting parties. That's probably okay. That's good. He's mercenary me though. So yeah, we discard that stuff. Oh, and he's playing survivors. That's uh, that's a good sign. Discarding a plaza. Okay. Greed. Okay, so I have more stuff to trash. Um, uh, ooh, okay. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I think I want the urchin, and let's just trash these two ruins. Yeah. It's not good not to get that attack in. Oh, not the two ruins. I'm going to trash a ruin library and a copper. The ruin library. Yeah, I need to get rid of that guy. I could play it. Yeah, how do I feel about that? Not very good. But I'm going to do it. Oh, that is disappointing, but... Anyway, I'll play the Marauder. Pick up the urchin. Because I want to get that attack in. Greed hurt. Yeah, that's what happened there. Oh, okay. He's he's really junked. That's that's great. Okay, so plaza is getting low. Um, I really do want to trash that, uh, ruin library, but that's okay. Um, did I gain that spoils? Discarded silver spoils plaza. Okay. Draw the spoils. Play the ruin market. Um, so I gain the only two ruin markets, but he does have a vampire for additional gains. Um, So he can basically gain two cards per turn. I do have a point lead, but I think I want to just pick up more groundskeepers and keep building. Um, Bad omens, that's a strong hex. Um, do I take another hunting party? I'm pretty happy with two plazas as it is. Yeah, I'm not really worried about getting those coffers. Um... 
Mm. He takes the gold for the the palace points. Oh, he didn't have a bat. What was I saying? Yeah, so he's up a point, but if I can trash it all, I'm going to play the plaza so I don't uh, skip it. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh. Oh wait, I don't have that third gain through the bat because I don't have a vampire. Okay, so I think I'm trashing spoils or in library. Let me set that to never trash. Um, okay, and we'll play the ruin market. Okay, so I could get like gold copper for three points, bat the spoils away. Um or I could just get like now that I have three groundskeepers, like a state. Yeah, the gold copper thing seems a waste of points. Um Um, so what do I think? Just like a state groundskeeper seems reasonable. Um, or just two estates bat the silver away. Um, Let's keep building with a state groundskeeper. Maybe it's not necessary. Anyway, we'll see. I thought he has a copper. I guess that was the last card. Now he trashes it. Um, he's going to take province. Trashed my silver. Okay. That actually didn't really hurt. Takes the groundskeeper. Okay. So, groundskeeper... Uh, estate, that's right. Plaza Urchin. Groundskeeper, groundskeeper. Hunting party. This card's a hunting party. Groundskeeper, hunting party. This card's a hunting party. That's a Marauder, right? It's only pretty into hand. Hmm. 
I don't have it economy. me. That's uh, a little concerning. Um, I guess I have four, which can be two estates, which are worth... That's that's kind of funny. No economy. What I, I could pick up a treasure. Treasure is definitely lots of economy. Yeah, we'll pick up a treasure here. Um two more estates. Miserable. That's nice. Um, yeah. All right. So I take that one as player two. So I am up uh, three to one. And I get to go first in the next one. Um, I, I, I think that... Urchin was pretty key there, and I'm glad I opened it. It also was lucky to collide, I guess, but... Oh, boy. Okay, Cultist Guardian games. Aren't they great? You always have to have that Guardian down, or you just get slammed with ruins. Um, there is trash in with Remodel. Remodel into Ducket is, like, a way to trash two coppers, or a ruin and a copper. Um, remodel can also give you that Guardian. But we're also building Dominate. Um, Dominate can happen through just a lot of big draw with Port Cultist Hunting Grounds. Probably Port, port Cultist for the most part. And Treasures, although we can also ramp up a little bit with Treasure Hero. Getting destroyed is not the best. Um, let's see, so I have four. Three. Um, You can also get some monument plays in. I'm thinking that should be like remodel silver. Although, yeah, hitting five is real nice um, for the cultists. Uh, let's see. So, uh, how much do I care about the remodel? Remodeling estates is is nice, but getting slammed is not. Um, remodeling into port, not not so attractive because you can't get two of them in that way. Uh, it could just be double silver. I think port silver is also in, under consideration. Ports are really nice with the cultist. Um, I'm not sure about the remodel open. Let's just go port silver. We'll pick up Guardian on, like, sub-5. Oh, he has 5. That's lovely. Well, I'm not getting the, the Guardian now. Hmm. Maybe it should have been a remodel. Remodel a state to Guardian. It's not the greatest, but it works. Yep, yeah, so that's a Guardian play. He does not have his cultist, which means he likely has it here. But I really want a cultist too, so I'm gonna I'm gonna forgo the the trashing. He won't have oh no, he has a second cultist. Ah man. Man that that's nice. Um well I did get to my cultist and I draw my guardian. That saves me. Okay, sweet. So I have one ruin. And I'll get a second guardian here. All right. So port hasn't done a ton. Maybe that was that was a bad open. All my estates. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, I have a guardian here. That's good. What ruin did I get anyway? Ruined village. Okay. The worst, but you know, it's just one.
Yeah, since I have this guardian already. Um it's just gonna be more more cultist because that's how this game goes. And this is gonna be a guardian. Because we can't stop. He gets his guardian down. So third third guardian. Okay, guardian in hand, that's good. Seeing two of them in the same turn is the is the kicker here, because then you decide I guess you just play one of them, but it's just a dead card. The second one. Um Yeah, okay, the ports ports aren't doing much. Um He does get his guardian. Yeah, so while we while we can, we just get more cultists. I think that's the way you play this. And if you're sub, then you get like Ducket. Uh, these cultist uh, guardian games. It's just. Yeah, you just play one guardian. Don't don't think about playing that other one. And I draw. So uh yeah, ruin's about to be slammed if anyone ever gets unguarded. <laughs> and he doesn't see his, so I don't see mine either, so we're getting our fourth as well. <laughs> Uh, cultist guardian games are ridiculous. Yeah, the port was uh ports were a bit a uh, bit of a mistake. Still the five two is what you want. I don't know, now he gets ports, but I mean it really just lets you play like the Remodel. So we go cultist, cultist. We've got two guardians. And now we get. Is it the ports? Did I play two ports last turn? I played one, so I have one more in there. I have six chance I can play it first, and so I could get the remodel. Too ambitious. Let's get it. Let's play that end turn real quick because yeah, I mean the first set of ports without any other terminals is basically like one of them lets you play the other one, so it makes it means they do nothing. Um, I can hope he didn't find his guardian. Okay, he did. One of his, we each have four, so uh, I think we're pretty we're pretty safe here. Um. Port cultist 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 port cultist and now we get to remodel um so that's good obviously to get to the remodel now what are we remodeling now If it's a state to duck it, um, state to port, I don't know. A state to silver. So we, I mean, ideally at this point, still are hoping to get to dominate. Um, but we want to be consistent. Um, or we could just like abandon all things and go for philosopher's stone. Now let's let's think about this. So a third port would be worthwhile, but I can also buy them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna trash a state ducket and trash a copper, and then buy the ports and get a guardian down. Oh man, this is a this is a bad draw. And we're gonna do what he did there as well. Um which means ports are 
about to go, and that's uh, that's looking pretty scary. <laughs> Which means I need to green, despite the fact that like nothing has happened. takes the remodel, which means he can remodel. Um, I draw three of my five guardians. There's one more down there. Um, he still can't remodel into into a pileup. Um, right, because he can just gain one port. Obviously taking ports would be fatal here. So we're not going to be doing that. Um, if we take Duchy, then we are threatening him to he'll do the same. If we take Gold, uh, I guess I'm threatening a pilot. Um, but I don't really think of it that way. Hmm. I mean, just having more money is threatening a pilot with duck it and eight getting double port and remodeling something silver I don't know whatever guardian into eh, guardian into a state isn't isn't scoring so uh, I think I just take the duchy to be and I don't want a duchess no Okay, so he's had a couple bad turns in the last few. Um, well, I don't have a guardian down, so that's uh, that's happening. Um. So that's a little scary, yeah. Um, and I'm not gonna be able to. Oh man, I can't even like not cause a shuffle. This is this is bad. Uh, this is very bad. So what happens is I like. Uh, what do what has what does happen here? This is this is bad. I think I just remodel a state to port. I'm up one point. He's he he has a chance to. Oh yeah, if he can get the ducket and the remodel played and all that. Uh yeah, is this where I go for the potion? <laughs> <laughs> this makes me nervous. Not potion. Yeah, clearly not potion. And I don't want anything for two. Here come the ruins. Only one. Only one. Phew. Phew. That is... That is a relief. A huge relief. One ruin. For all that I was afraid of there. And I'm going to save the... Offers and get both guardians down. I'm really not going to draw around, so let's do it. Now we get to see if he ever hits eight. Doesn't have any coffers. Eight with two buys. Copper to Duckatrice's copper. Oh, he doesn't even buy anything. Okay. 
This deck is a lot less good than I thought. Um, so this is province. So I'm going to do that as a threat. He can only get duchy. Do I just remodel this ducket? Uh... Playing the Guardian for sure. Duck at the port is tempting. But it also takes away my plus buy. Um, there's also like Duchy to Duchy just to lower that pile. Do I want to lower that pile? When I'm up, even number. If that's possibly the pile out, and we can hit five consistently, which is no guarantee at all, then I would like to have the pile at four. And I think I want that. Oh, Duchess, do I want Duchess? No, I think I'm not trying consistently enough. Mm. I do have the Guardian down, so I could just remodel this port. He draws well. That's uh that's a bad sign. Guessing he's getting duchy here. I would get a state as well. Yeah, let's do that. And now I get Duchess? No, I don't. Still don't get Duchess. Okay, so he's going to draw well again. If he can remodel... Uh, ooh, if he can get to his ducket. Does he have one or two ducats? Um, if he can get to some number of ducats and... Then, oh, maybe he's considering like remodeling the cultist. That could also get him there. Remodel cultist to duchy. And probably hit five. Duchy to duchy. Does he have seven? So he goes for the tie. Oh, interesting. Huh. Well, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, that's an interesting, interesting finish. Um, okay, so we tie that game on my start. So I'm only up like half a game now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so he gets to start this one. And if he wins, it'll, it'll be a 3.5, 2.5. If I win, it'll be 4.5. That would be nice. So let's... Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, that's what I was expecting, but if he didn't have it. Um, yeah, so I, I think I did like my remodel duchy to duchy thing there, because you put him in that awkward position. It's possible he still could have won, but I mean, he was getting better draws than me. Um, okay, uh, last one. 
um, 3.5 to 1.5 is where we're at. Yes. Um, and I got the player order correct, so let's let's play. Um, Oh, it's a black market peasant game. <laughs> and highway and knights. Oh, ooh, this is a... Yeah, this is just like a money game, right? Let's pretend like villain was actually a thing. Um, oof. Well, Sage will skip the peasant, so that doesn't seem worthwhile. But it is... Yeah, exactly. Villain, Dutchy Duke. Um, Sir Bailey is good. Uh, what we're missing from that we need from the black market is trashing of our own cards, of course. Uh, but getting on the peasant line and putting something on lab seems also very good. Or plus buy on highway, yeah, later on. Um, black market peasant, hope for the best. Or peasant city gate. Um,. Well, we want peasant either way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, getting up to disciple seems very useful here. No consistency without being trashed. Um I think I I think I agree with Black Rank and Peasant, hope for the best. Oh, you can also get a lot of pearl divers, so let's uh do that. Um But we'll get a second peasant first. And then we hit Six for uh, doctor. No, I don't know. Um, double pearl diver, a reasonable target at some point. Um, I mean, archive is nice early. It's probably nicer than Sir Bailey or Lab. Ah, but Sir Bailey is so good. And none of this is trashing, so we're getting surveyed. And I think I'm getting two pearl divers here. Well, there's King's Court. Good to know. He's not going to be able to afford it, but it's also Money Wonder. Dame Natalie, that's a that's the action knight, which is also good here. Um Yeah, I could see double pearl diver being the thing. Oh, maybe maybe that should have been a peasant. Yeah, oh well. We'll have more chances. Black market, buy something. Two two left by peasant. Ooh, okay, I think I think I want the city gate now. Yeah, like it's great here. And I've not gotten a fugitive yet. Um, yeah, that's a little, pearl is a little annoying in this case. But yeah. Uh, let's get another peasant. Or let's get Sage. Okay, he gets to his fugitive. I can still hit his disciple. And he hits my soldier. Okay, well, that's why I have more than one line. Gains a pearl labor. Interesting. Um, yeah, I want all this. So let's... I hit pearl labor copper. Man. Um... I mean, Molly is good. Lab is also good. Let's take Lab. I want targets for the thingy soon enough. Okay, he's going to get lots of pearl divers. I assume he's exchanging here. I 
Thankfully, Molly misses anything relevant. He's going to go heavy, heavy Pearl Diver. So that does defend against the Knights nicely. I could still hit, like, Teacher or whatever. Okay, well, Pearl Diver makes that all kind of a useless thing. I trash his Black Market. That's nice. Estate stays on the bottom. Still. Discard Estate, Lab, and Peasant. Well, that's exciting. We're going to get a Lab, I think. And yeah, that, I, I want to get those target targets ready. Um, and uh, yes, I will exchange both of those. I hope I find my future. Not necessarily that it's the top card of my deck if he's going to get to attack me. Okay, he Pearl Divers around, rebuys the Black Market. Um, this could just be Top Deck the Lab. I think it is going to be Top Deck the Lab. Expand is nice trashing, but I can't afford it, so I guess we'll take Vagrant. Loan is also trashing. Hmm. Vagrant Peasant? Sure, Vagrant doesn't really hurt, does it? It's also defense against knights. My disciple's in there. He could hit it. That would suck. Bunch of useless pearl divers. They'll be useful once he gets his teacher down. He does. Okay. Um, all right. Disciple Lab, that is what I've been going for. Um, lab. Sir Bailey, Trash is a Soldier. Pearl Diver. Bottom deck that, Pearl Diver. Bottom deck that. Um, we're not going to get anything costing nine, are we? So, whatever, let's make him make the decision first. Black market, ah, uh, butcher, butcher is is worthwhile, for sure. I'm gonna keep my disciple around a little bit. Um, I mean, I could also just get the denison for more draw. But yeah, trashing butcher, butcher is very strong. Well, it's not very strong at trashing coppers. <sighs> this could very well just be the Denison. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd rather get a big trasher in and get that, uh, Extra draw this next turn. I'm going to keep the Disciple. Yeah, so there's a lab on top now. And that's bad. Okay, so obviously he's doing this. And it's quite good. Um, hey, Villa. He takes the villa, the attack, of course. Um, we're going to do this. We're going to top deck. Start with the big rent, top deck copper. Leave that on the bottom. All right. Um... Can't see the peasant being all that valuable here. Um, experiment is a lab that's cheap, but that's okay. Taxman, meh. Crossroads, while we haven't trashed these estates, is decent. 
Also with night defense. And village. That's nice. Vander, not the most important here. But I think I do need the night defense. And that he'll he'll die and kill another knight. So Bailey is in those four cards, so it's likely he will face an attack here. Hopefully I can get a nice like double copper flip or something, copper estate. Ouch, ouch, close my disciple. Definitely trashing the lab, I can regain that. Well, priest is trashing and economy, so that's nice. Can't see scholar being useful. Shanty, he's that short on villages? Hmm. Yeah, so Nate, Natalie kills the. Natalie kills Bailey, so. Yeah, I guess there was no way I was going to be able to defend with those four cards on top. Yep, I mean, the highways are going to be a thing. We'll start with Pearl Diver. Leave that on the bottom. Um, hopefully, a fugitive discard copper. Wow, this is just not the time to draw that crossroads. I need to rebuy lab, I think. Yes, exchange that to the second disciple. Keep peasant. Man, man. Why couldn't I have the crossroads in this hand? Okay, so he's done. No village, no thing happening this turn. City's nice, of course. Quarry is okay, but city, city is worthwhile there, for sure. So he's got his second thing up to a soldier now. Um, I don't know, there's like, what? Couple things to find in there. Oh, well, I found the estate. Okay. Um. Man. Attack. Because what am I going to buy for three? Forager. There's a lot of good things for three. Um, but. I think this will just be attack. And alas, well, I've disciple lab in hand now. Finally, they were bottom decked together, but bottom decked. It's really annoying. So Rainer's also not doing what he really does best, which is sitting on top of my deck and getting trashed. He does only have one knight, so that limits the damage he can do. And he doesn't do any. Nice. Gets the teacher down. Soldier. Second highway. Um, obviously two cards first. Um, Pearl Diver, we'll leave that on bottom. We'll see if I, we can remember that. Play one lab. Um, I'll try to do that. Oh man, really? Okay. Should have. Hmm. Need a village patrol. Faithful hound. Is there any discarding? Not really. I'll pass. Oh, lighthouse. Lighthouse. Yes, thank you very much. Every other turn, I'll be defended. Um, still a state on. Still leave it there. The vagrant does not get to line up with that. Uh, 
Okay. Well, let's trash a highway. That's what I like to see. Okay, so... It's possible sages could be the best way to go. Um, but I'm just going to try to get as many labs as I can. And peasant exchange. I think I'll exchange one disciple for teacher now. I mean, I could totally lose either of them, of course. But this is a nice, nice start to the turn. Buy on highway. He only has one, so that's not much of a threat at this point. Obviously, if you get a bunch of them, they're really good. And yes, he's going to get to soon Disciple Highway, which is going to be very good. Junk Dealer. There's some trashing. Man, we have like found... What what has been trashed? Anything, anything we want to trash? No. <laughs> Literally just the night stuff. I, I think you got to get the Junk Dealer, right? We're both drowning in this junk. And maybe that means we shouldn't be av avoiding Sage. But maybe, okay, sweet, we don't suffer. If you can get double highway here and disciple highway soon, that's going to be very strong. Um, uh, yeah, okay. We'll start with the pro library. I want to draw the lighthouse. Yeah, sure. Play one lab. We only have the one disciple, so. Um. Well, there's witch. That like the plus by highway thing is the is the thing here. Um, yeah, I, I can't see that being worth avoiding. Yeah, incomplete turn, we get one highway. But he has, what, three and he can disciple them? Yeah, this is pretty much over, I think. So he doesn't draw around to his last highway. But he does get to... Uh, do pretty much anything he wants to do here. Yeah, I mean, it's Dame Natalie. This is Dame Natalie being second card in the pile. Let me see how many. He, okay, so these just have single gains. But that's a three. They disciple, then you Dame Natalie twice. And then we both buy bot and gain two a couple times. Huh. Not really sure what the teacher really does besides being out of the way. Coin buy. Shanty. Highway. Armory. Lab. Yeah, that, that should be game.
Yep, so he wins that one um, on the back of eight pearl divers. Yeah, eight to two pearl divers. Hmm. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know what could have really gone better there. Um, yeah, he was first player. That helps with getting lots of pearl divers. I mean, it's kind of like the third and fourth pearl divers aren't doing a ton. Obviously, the seventh and eighth are good for him. But I'm not going to start going to teacher with four pearl divers, so. I don't know how that uh, how that could have played out better for me. Obviously, getting you know good cards in the black market. I think neither of us ever got any trashing. That was not what I was expecting. There's usually some trashing in the black market, but there was like expand, and that was the only thing there. So, yeah, a little bit too slow. He was able to get to teacher quite fast. I think my soldier missed. That also hurt. That slowed me down on that first uh, traveler route. I was able to slow his second, second, third travelers down. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm curious about spec chat. See what, see what specters say. Um, I've got a, that's a, that's a winning start to the season, uh, 3.5 to 2.5 and sweet. It's been posted. So I will have another match coming with, uh, Vishal Sooner, v Sooner, uh coming up on Thursday. And if I win, I get the chance to play Amethyst 11 again in the finals of the Renaissance Cage Match Tournament. That match will feature uh, Cathedral, the one on Thursday. So hope you can tune in for that. Thanks for watching, everyone.